from Sweden, pictures of the year's first big motor race, the Winter Grand Prix. With a barometer well below zero, the spectators had a job to keep warm. The contest was organized by Prince Berthil, on the left here with French driver Chiron. Sponsored by the Royal Automobile Club of Sweden, the fifth Grand Prix provided thrills in plenty both for the watching public and for the drivers. In this, the B-class race, three British drivers take part. Due to lack of facilities for motor racing in this country, they travel to Sweden to compete there. Two English drivers race for the winning post, with number 11 Parnell of Derby the winner and number 3 Coventry's Brook a good second. Parnell made the 100 kilometre course in 59.2 minutes. Rome has weather problems too. Recent heavy rainfalls brought the level of the river Tiber up to 45 feet, the highest for 50 years. Thousands were marooned and while the rest of Europe shivers under the coldest spell since 1896, all traffic on roads from Rome is blocked. The rescue of flooded out peasants is made by rowing boats. While the swollen river's victims are taken to safety, their furniture is swept away by the rising tide. sunset, the Tiber was a swirling mass of water. From iron worker to governor general, that is the record of William John McKell, now appointed the King's representative in Australia in succession to the Duke of Gloucester. Premier of New South Wales, Mr McKell is a member of the Australian Labour Party. His appointment has caused a lively controversy throughout the Dominion. Almost unknown outside Australia, William John McKell, at the age of 55, looks more a country squire than an active politician. The son of a working class family, he leaves his home in Sydney for the Governor General's residence in Canberra. <laughs> 